on this place, such as they crest. Ah. Everything's right for you, shall kill. Will you be coming across the sands? Okay, Cassidy is with you. I will not, my consent. I'll be making a shirt to home to my bed. He's right, too. And have you no shame, Michael James, to be quitting off for the whole night and leaving myself lonesome in the shop? Oh, well, what's the difference? Of going all night on part only. I don't think another queer daughter would have me walking back across the stokes of the dead women in the middle of the night after having taken a drop. Mm. If I am a queer daughter, it's a queer father be leaving me lonesome these twelve hours of dark. Oh. And only pulling the turf with the dogs barking, the calves in the wind, and my own teeth rattling into fear. <laughs> What's there to hurt you? And you, a fine hardy girl. Yet I've knocked the head off any two fellas in this place. Is there the, the harvest boys with their tongues ready for drink? Or the, the, the ten tinkers discounting the East Glen? Or the thousand militia? Bad sex to them walking all up through the land. Oh. There's not surely to hurt me, and I won't stop alone in it. Let himself do what he will. If it's a fear, you are, Sean Keel could stay with you. Aye. Oh, oh. It's God's will, I'm thinking. He should be with you now. <laughs> I, uh, I wouldn't welcome Michael James, <laughs> but uh, I'm a fear of Father Riley, you see. Oh. God <laughs> save you. Oh. What would he be saying if he was here and I was doing the likes of that? <laughs> well, you could sit by the heart with a light pit and well, you don't that surely with a man dying in a ditch. I'm afraid of Father Riley, I'm saying. Oh. Don't let you be tempting me when we're near marriage itself. Go on. Mm. Lock him in the West Room. <laughs> He'll stay there and have no sin return to the priest. Stop the no noise, my good James. Stop your noising. Sit there by the heart. <laughs> oh, the Holy Father above. Oh, have mercy on me today. Oh, St. Michael, St. Patrick, St. Peter, St. James. <laughs> Where will I hide myself today? Let me go, my good angel. Oh my God! 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 Oh Oh my God! 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 Oh the likes of which you'd not be having to spy after if you got a dozen girls weaving in the fields. What right have you to be making game of a poor fellow when it's your own that fault is? Oh. Not paying for penny pop boy to stand along with me and give me courage in the doing of my work. Oh. And where would I get a pop boy? Well, shall I shout the bad man out, shout him in the streets at Castle Bar? <laughs> <laughs> Michael James. What is it? The queer fellow above in the furs you get. He's, uh, he's come up. I'm thinking stealing your hands out. Oh! He's followed me now. <laughs> oh, God have mercy on me. If he's heard what I've said, he'll be having my life. I'll be going on dark and lonesome to my bed tonight. <laughs> License for the selling of spirits and beers. Mm. What would the price one could be? Not four good houses in this area. All bona fide Christians, save one widow woman. It's a safe house, so. Are you wanting? Is it the police you're fearing? There's many wanting. Uh, I, I would this. Broken harvests and the wars. <laughs> So I had it in mind, it was a different word, and a bigger. There's a queer lad. We well, never sat in school, young fellow, that you don't know the name of your deed. Slow, it's learning, a Midland scholar only. 
If he was a dunce, he had the right to know that larceny is stealing. Mm. By the son of a strong farmer. God rest his soul. Could have bought up the whole of your house a while since from the bottom of his tail pocket and not miss the weight of it gone. Oh. Well, if it's not plastic and stealing and robbing, it must be something big. Mm. Aye, right. maybe something big. Ah. You're not. Uh, Sense forbid, mister, I wasn't all time to decent lad. <laughs> you, you're a silly man, Jimmy Farrell. He said his father was a farmer a while since. Oh, and he did what any decent lad would do. Was it bailiffs? Mm. The devil of one. Pages. The devil of one. <laughs> Landlords. Not at all, I'm saying. You'd see the like of any of them stories in any little paper of a monster's town. But I'm not calling to my daddy person, gentle, simple, George or Jory, that did the like of me. Oh, well, that lad's a puzzle. The world. He thinks the likes of damned lady's service and the holy missioners telling the rhyme sermons about the villainy of man. Trying to Oh, as for me, I don't know what I'm saying. Well, that lad is a Bloody wars, the Kruger and the freedom of the Boers. Never left my parish till Tuesday was a week. He's done nothing so. If he didn't commit murder, or a bad, nasty thing, or false coining, or robbery, or butchery, or the like of them, then there isn't anything that would be worth your troubling to have to run for now. He Men. did nothing at all. Men. That's an unkindly thing to be saying to a poor orphan traveller. There's a prison behind him and a hanging before, and old hell's got gear from below. You're only saying it. You did nothing at all. A soft lad the like of you wouldn't slit the windpipe of a screeching sow. You're not speaking the truth, bitch. Not speaking the truth, is it? Would you have me knock the head of you with the butt of a broom? Don't strike me! I killed my poor father two times a week for doing the like of that! Is it not oh. your father? Glover, bitch, of the hive. With the help of God, I surely did. The holy immaculate mother intercede for his soul. Well, that's a hanging cry, Mr. Honey. <laughs> He must have had good cause to do that. He was a dirty man. Lord forgive him. He got old and crusty. Why I couldn't put up with him at all. And you shot him dead? I did not. I've no license and I'm a law fearing man. It was a a hilted knife, maybe. Mm. I've heard in my white world they use bloody knives. Huh. Do you take me for a slaughter boy? You never hanged him, the way Jimmy Farrell hanged his dogs from the license and had it screeching and wriggling three hours at the butt of the string, and himself swearing it was a dead dog and that he was swearing he'd had life. I did not then. I, I just rizzed the loy and let fall the edge of it to the ridge of his skull. He fell down at my feet like an empty sack, never let him grunt or groan from him at all. Well, was it you weren't hanged? Did you bury him? Aye, I buried him then. Wasn't I digging spots in the field? At least. Past eleven days you've been up, and the place not be chasing you. Never a one of them. But I walk him forward, facing home to Dover Dibble on the highway of the road. <laughs> oh, it's only with a calm and weak day kind of murder, them lads should be terrorizing the carcass. Yeah. Well, now, Piggy, you were talking about a pot boy. Would it be that the sense of Solomon to have her pot boy Winker James, if it's the truth you're seeking one at all? Mr. Honey, would you think well on staying and being a pot boy if, uh, if we paid you with wages and we didn't kill you on the way to work? Winker James, that'd be dead. That'd be a queer kind to be bringing into the likes of the nice. Also, households with the likes of Piggy Mike. Would you wish to speak to you? Bloody Andy Burns. Wish I'm like saying will take no falling from your life at all. And you, young fellow, you'd have a word to stop him thinking, for we do our all and utmost to contend your needs. How to be safe in this place from the search and law? Oh, yes, you certainly would. Mm. All the fellows in these parts, well, they're drowsy fellows. And 
they wouldn't think of disturbing a cur dog in the middle of the night without a warning. Then she stop a short while anyhow. And you destroyed walking with your feet in blooded blisters and your whole skin needing washing like a wicklow sheep. <laughs> well, it's just a nice room, so. Mm -hmm. well, and if it's not humbugging me, you are. I'm thinking that I'll surely stay. Well, by the grace of God, she'll be safe this night. A with a young fella that's killed his father, keeping danger from the door. Come up with old Jimmy, sir. We'll go down. Get a drunk before the drunk get the wink tonight. Yes, him. Aye. Hold on, Mary. Oh. And what shall we call you, Mr. Pudding? Because we'd like to know. Christopher Marr. Christine. Well, God bless you. And say, till tomorrow, with the rise of the sun at 